مشاهدين الأعزاء أبناؤنا الطلاب والطالبات السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته حياكم الله في الحلقة الثانية من مراجعة منهج اللغة الإنجليزية للصف الثالث ثانوي نظام المقررات نحييكم بأجمل العبارات وندعو لكم في هذه الأيام بالتوفيق والنجاح ومن خلال برنامجنا مية على مية نستكمل وإياكم ما بدأناه من مراجعة لتتمكن عزيز الطالب عزيزة الطالبة من الإجابة على الأسئلة الامتحان بكل يسر وسهولة نذكركم أعزائي الطلاب بأننا نستقبل أسئلتكم واستفساراتكم على هاشتاج البرنامج مية على مية فاصل قصير وسنبدأ بإذن الله تعالى معكم أولى الأسئلة أعزائي المشاهدين أعزائي طلاب وطالبات الصف الثالث ثانوي أهلا بكم من جديد دعونا نذكركم بأننا نراجع وإياكم منهج اللغة الإنجليزية وسنركز في هذا الجزء على المفردات للباب الثاني ونذكركم بأننا نستقبل أسئلتكم واستفساراتكم على هاشتاج البرنامج مئة على مئة والآن نبدأ على بركة الله السؤال الأول هذا التمرين خاص بالمفردات اللي نسميه vocabulary okay and in this exercise we are focusing on something called phrasal verbs phrasal verbs what are phrasal verbs verbs plus preposition and usually phrasal verbs have different meaning from the verb itself exercise A complete the sentences with the correct form of phrasal verb from the box you have to complete the sentence from the ver phrasal verb on from the box, but with the correct form, the correct form in the tense, in the past, in the future, ing, etc. First, let's read the words or phrasal verbs in the box. Break into, make off, deal with, hold up, go through with, cheat out of, pick out, put up. The first thing you have to do, dear students, you have to understand the meaning and you have to find a way that uh, to give a close meaning to understand what do they mean. First, break into. When I say someone break into my house, for example, break into means enter a building or enter a house by force to steal. Okay? The second one, make off. What does make off mean? It has a lot of meaning. But one of them, when I say he makes off, means leave quickly. Leave quickly or escape. Okay? Haraba bisura or ghadar bisura. The third one, deal with. Deal with when I say, okay, he has, a, it's, on your, it's your own problem and you have to deal with it. What does deal with? It means that you have to face it uh, alone. You have to... Uh, handle, uh, handle it, you have to cope with the problem you have. The fourth one is hold up. What does hold up mean? For example, when I say uh, he hold up uh, a shop or etc. Hold up means to rub, to rub a place, okay, to steal. Okay, yes, rub, the, the fifth one, the next one is go through with. Uh, I have to say, you go through with your plans. So you do what you plan to do. To do something despite the difficulties that you had. To do something you plan to do. The next one is cheat out of. Phrasal verb, cheat out of mean uh, to prevent someone from something. Okay. The next one is pick out. When I say pick out means select or choose. يختار. The last one is put up. Put up is, uh, for the, the verb put comes with the many proposition. One of them is up. Put up means, for example, uh, to let somebody stay in your house, for example. To let somebody stay in your house, okay? Now let's do the exercise, and we have to understand, understand the sentences uh, correctly to, uh, to match it with the words in the box. Number one, unfortunately, someone our house while we were in holiday last year okay we started here with unfortunately that means something bad happened okay negative meaning unfortunately someone 
did something to our house, okay? While we were on holiday last year, the, the action happened in the past, okay? So I use these words to indicate to the answer. Unfortunately, something happened, something bad happened to our house while we were on holiday. So what first comes to my mind? Someone stole from my house. So the answer is break into, but we put it in the past. So the phrasal verb been changed into broke into. Someone broke, and broke into our house to enter our house by force and steal. The second sentence, number two. All the t-shirts were so nice that I couldn't, which one I wanted to buy. I went to the shop and I wanted to buy clothes and I find uh, beautiful t-shirts around me. So I am confused which one to choose because they are all nice. I need a verb means to choose or select. The answer is to pick out and we put it in the base form, the correct form, because it comes after the, the model verb could. Let's move to number three. Sentence three. Don Johnson, two shops on Oxford. Okay, Don Johnson, two shops on Oxford Street last night and with the money. However, the police arrested him shortly afterwards. I have to understand the sentences carefully to see which verb. I can see here we have two two places, oh, two spaces, two blanks. The first one, uh, phrasal verb, the second one, phrasal I have to use two phrasal verb. Let me deal with the first one, which ended here, okay? Don Johnson, a person, the missing thing here is a verb, okay? The missing thing here is a verb, two shops. What did he do to the two shops on Oxford Street last night in the past? See, last night indicates up to the, to the time. And with the money, he did something with the money. However, the police arrested him shortly. So if the police arrested someone, that means he did a crime. So Don Johnson is a criminal. What did he do? Yes, he held up, held up. Oh, the, 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 the phrasal verb held up means he stole, he robbed from a place. He held up two shops. Oxford and made off, leave or escape quickly with the money. However, the police arrested him, which is a good thing. Number four, Eric decided not to the operation. The doctor advised, advised him that it would be too dangerous. Okay, Eric seems here is a patient. He decided not to do something with the operation. He's supposed to have an operation. There is the plan that doctor told him you have to do operation, okay? The doctor advised him that it would be too dangerous. So what, the, what does the doctor want to want the patient, Eric, to do the operation? But Eric decided not to stay with the plan. So the phrasal verb, not to go through. Decided not to do what he planned. He planned to, or he was supposed to do it, but he decided not to stay or to stick with the plan. Let's move to number five. The government has to find a way to the economic crisis. The government is facing economic crisis, economic problem. They have to find a way, they have to find a way to handle it, to cope with it. Which one is the clause? Yes, it is deal with have to deal with the economic crisis to handle it. Now let's move to number six. They said they would pay him for his work, but in the end, they him his shares. Okay. The first clause, they said they would pay him for his work. So they would pay someone. They would give him money. Why? For the work he did. But, but, that indicates they didn't pay. In the end, they didn't pay him, or they didn't give him his share, so they prevented him from his share. The phrasal verb that has the similar meaning is uh, cheat him out of. When I say cheated him out, prevented him from 
his money. I didn't pay him. I prevented him from his money. Now let's move to number seven. Jabber said he would be very grateful if we could his friend for a few days as he couldn't afford a hotel. Okay, His friend here couldn't afford. He wants a place to stay in. But the hotel is expensive. He couldn't afford. He couldn't afford. Uh, he doesn't have the money for a hotel. So he asked his friend uh, a favor to let his friend stay at his house. So what is the phrasal verb? To put up, to put, to put his uh, friend, to put, sorry, to put his friend up for a few days. What does put his friend up means? To let him stay for a few days days. Okay, now we finished from the uh, phrasal verb exercise. We are moving to another exercise which is related to the vocabulary. Choose the correct option A, B, C, or D to complete the sentences. Number one, I think I might have his skills. He is a lot less capable than I had thought. I have four options. Overlooked, overturned, overtook, overestimated. What should I do here is to understand the sentence very good and know the meaning of the options. Let me read the sentence again and we have to understand. I think I might have his skills. I'm talking about I think uh, he has skills and I think something missing. He is a lot less capable than I had thought. So I thought, I thought he is better, but I something. Okay, so I think that he was better, but it turned out not, not, he is not. So, overlooked means, when I say overlook something, to make a blind eye, to miss, not notice. So, it doesn't relate. Uh, be overturned. When I overturn something, to turn it upside down, to take it upside down. Uh, overtook. All the verbs in the past, because uh, we have indication here, had overtook or overtake means uh, when you pass, when you racing or when you running and you pass a car or you pass something, it uh, is And also it doesn't relate, it has no relation with this sentence, okay? Uh, because I need something means I think he was better, okay? Overestimated, overestimate when, when you think something is better. And this is the correct answer. Overestimate when you think something is better, but uh, he is less capable. He is a lot less capable. So I overestimated him. Let's move to number two. The government has taken something to reduce the number of forest fires. Uh, the problem of forest fires is a problem that the government facing. So the government has taken something, has taken action. Okay, I need I need a verb here means action. Okay, let's let's see the options. Care. When I say the government has taken care to reduce, no, take care means to look after. No, they didn't. Doesn't mean. Anything. Take pride. Pride, feeling, uh, feeling of yourself, pride, feeling of pleasure, pride, الفخر. no. Measures mean action. Measures, when I say the government has taken measures, means has taken action, which is the correct answer. Notice when you see something, notice something that you can uh, see. الحوف. So the correct answer is measures, which means actions. Number three, Michelle is quiet in London and misses her friends in Manchester. Okay, Michelle is in London and she misses her friends in Manchester, in other cities. So she is feeling not happy. She is sad. Maybe she feels homesick. Uh, she 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 wants her family and etc. So I mean, I need a verb or a, a word here means uh, describing her feeling. Okay, a only when I say only. It doesn't fit with the sentence, with the meaning of the sentence, because I say uh, he is only 17. Only means not more than a particular number. Uh, lonely, when I say he is lonely, he is sad, he feels homesick, he is not happy, which is the correct answer here, which is fit, 
fits it in this sentence. Michelle is quite lonely, unhappy, sad, misses her family because uh, she is in another city. Uh, uh, this is the correct answer. Alone means by yourself. I'm here alone. Not, no one is with me. Okay, So that doesn't describe a feeling. Single, a single number, one number, single number, or single, not married. So it doesn't relate. It has no relation with the sentence. We chose lonely because it describes feeling. Let's move to number four. From an early age, Ikram took part in writing, and it was clear he would be a, a writer one day. Okay, From early age, when he was a young, Ikram took part. Took part means participated. Writing matches, writing games, writing races, writing competitions. What do you think, dear student? Can I say writing matches? Of course not, because matches uh, is usually a sport event between two teams. So we are talking about writing. Matches, sport. Okay. Games, probably not. I cannot say writing games, because games usually uh, event or activity between people uh, based on rules, etc. I cannot say. Races, no. Races mean when you compete to run. Runner, or races in sport. So it's not. Writing competitions, yes. When you compete, organized by an organization. منظمة أو هي organization writing competition لمنافسة أو مسابقة الكتابة. So it was clear he would be a writer one day. Okay. Let's move to number five. There is a cash prize for the winner, but all the in the show will get presents. Okay. When I see there is a cash prize, there is a prize, there is an award. So there is a competition going. For the winner, there is only one winner, okay? But all the participants, fans, spectators, audience. When you participate, you could win or not, okay? We have 20 participants, but only one winner. So here, there is a cash prize for the winner, but all the participants, all the people who took part will get a present. So participants, people who took part in the competition, not the winners, okay? Uh, fans cannot be the, the answer because I'm a fan of something. When I say I'm a fan of something, that means I am admire something or I admire someone. Okay, I'm a fan of a team or of somebody. Uh, spectators, of course, not. I cannot say all the spectators. Spectators mean uh, uh, people or person who attend a match or etc. to watch. Audience or a group of people who come to watch or listen uh, to a speaker or performance, etc. So the answer is a participant because people who took part will get a present, but the winner will get the cash prize. Let's move to number six. Did you hear about the house that was last night? Yes or no question? He asked, did you hear about the house that was? Something happened to that house last night, okay? Something happened. Okay, what happened to that house last night? So, so the, the, the answer should, the verb should be in the past, and all the options are in the past. A, shoplifted, B, burgled, C, kidnapped, D, stolen. All these four words are crime of stealing, but they are different. Shoplifted, crime of stealing from a shop, usually by hiding and real clothes or not paying. Burgled. Burgled when you steal from a building, usually house. Burgle, the burglary crime, committing stealing uh, from house. Kidnapping. Kidnapping when you take somebody away illegally, usually to ask for money. Stolen. Steal is a crime uh, of stealing something from someone. So the answer is shop. Uh, sorry, burgled. Why? Because here, burgled is related to stealing from a building, usually house. Shoplifted from shop, 
kidnapping people, stolen genus, stealing something from someone. Now let's move to number seven. I was extremely upset when the man me of theft. Okay, the speaker he is, is very upset, is extremely upset. Why? Because someone, because someone, the man here, the man, what did the man do to him? Of theft, what does theft mean? Stealing. So someone here say that you are thief and he got angry. Why did he angry? was angry? I was extremely upset because uh, when the man sentenced uh, me of theft, charged me of theft, blamed me of theft, or accused me of theft. I have to understand the meaning. Sentence, sentence which means to, uh, to, uh, to give a punishment, to give someone punishment. So it doesn't, it doesn't fit here, to give punishment of theft, no. So I mean something, mean you give uh, accusation. Uh, be charged, charged when an official, uh, official statement, usually from the police, when the police say something, uh, someone is guilty. But here the police didn't say, the man say. So the answer is not charged, because charge from an official uh, uh, organization, police, etc. C, blamed, blamed when you, th you, when you think someone is responsible for something bad, okay? The man blamed me of theft. He he think I'm responsible for it. No, something is stronger. Okay, accused is the correct answer. And why is accused the correct answer? When you say that you believe someone is guilty, accusation, Okay, and usually uh, you say that, not the police. So sentence is not the correct answer because sentence, when you give punishment, the man cannot give punishment here. The evidence, the man, okay? Charge, it has similar meaning, but there is a difference between charge and accuse. Charge, charge comes from the police, but accuse, accusation comes from people. So here the man who accused him of theft, so we cannot say charge and we cannot say blamed. The answer is accused, ittiham. And now let's move to sentence number eight. The criminal had to in prison for the crimes he had committed. The criminal, person who committed the crime, had to serve time in a prison, reach a verdict in a prison, pay a fine in a prison, or plead guilty in a prison the crimes. Okay, we have key words here. The criminal, okay, we're talking about person. And in a prison, okay, in a prison, physician, and the crimes he had committed, he committed a crime, okay? We have a criminal committed the crime and he had to serve a time, means spend time, okay? You are a criminal, you committed a crime, you had to spend time in a prison, which is the answer, A, serve time. B, reach verdict. I cannot say the criminal had reach verdict because reach verdict when you have a decision by the jury so here criminal we're not talking about jury so it's not b see when you pay a fine pay a fine is the money you pay uh, as a punishment it doesn't relate to the prison criminal crimes d plead guilty what does plead guilty mean plead guilty when you come to court and say officially that you are not guilty. There is no court. We are talking about prison here. So the criminal had spent the time. Which word is close to spend time is A. Serve time, spend time in the prison. نتوقف هنا أعزائي المشاهدين أبنائي الطلاب والطالبات لننتقل معكم لفاصل قصير ثم نعود مرة أخرى لنستكمل هذه الحلقة طرق الاستذكار الفعالة معظم المشكلات التي يعاني منها الطلاب في التعليم ترجع إلى جهلهم بطرق الاستذكار الجيد 
واستخدام عادات استذكار سيئة وإليكم بعض القواعد العامة للاستذكار الفعال قم بتنظيم أوقات الاستذكار واختر المناسبة منها لكل مادة اختر الأماكن الهادئة والمعدة للاستذكار عند المذاكرة اقرأ الموضوع قراءة عامة وضع خطا تحت الفقرات المهمة اختبر نفسك في الموضوع الذي قرأت فيه لتتأكد من مدى فهمك المواد التي تحتاج إلى حفظ اختر لها الأوقات المناسبة أعط وقتا أكثر للدروس التي ترى أنها صعبة بالنسبة لك إذا شعرت بالنوم أو الملل فلا تقاوم بل الجأ إلى الراحة لا تذاكر المواد المتشابهة مع بعضها بل ضع فاصلا بينها ولتكن مادة أخرى تذكر أن السهر الكثير متعب لك ولصحتك ويؤثر على الفهم والاستيعاب مع تمنياتنا لكم بالنجاح والتوفيق أعزائي المشاهدين، أعزائي الطلاب وطالبات الصف الثالث الثانوي، أهلا بكم من جديد. دعونا نذكركم بأننا نراجع وإياكم منهج اللغة الإنجليزية. وسنركز في هذا الجزء على القواعد والأزمنة للباب الثاني، ونذكركم بأننا نستقبل أسئلتكم واستفساراتكم على هاشتاج البرنامج 100 على 100. والآن نبدأ على بركة الله تكملة الأسئلة. بسم الله. في هالجزئية راح نتكلم عن الجرامر. Okay. Uh, especially in the past tenses في الأزمنة الماضية Let's read the exercise first and see Complete the sentences below using the verbs in brackets in the correct past tense Here he is asking you to put the verbs in the past tenses Okay, What are the past tenses in module 2, dear students? Can you remind me? Uh, past simple, past progressive, past perfect simple, past perfect progressive what is past simple? Past simple, we add just ed to the regular verb and we change a regular verb, for example, go went. When do we use the past simple for completed action in the past? Usually the time is mentioned, okay? Uh, when do we use the past progressive? Past progressive, when uh, action was in progress in the past action was in progress a specific point in the past يعني عمل كان جاري ومستمر في نقطة محددة في الماضي الزمان الثالث one is past perfect simple what is the per per uh, past perfect simple had plus verb 3 had زائد التصريف الثالث and we used it for completed action before a specific point or before action in the past حدث حصل واكتمل قبل حدث and the last one, past perfect progressive, when we emphasize, when we focus in the duration of the action that was completed before a specific or an action in the past. نركز على الحدث عن مدة الزمن المكتمل في الماضي قبل نقطة زمنية محددة. Let's see uh, number one. Sentence number one says, the moment we see the house, we know we had found the perfect place to live okay we have two verbs here see and know and we had to we have to put them in the past tense but which tense we have to read and understand dear students the sentence and we find the key words that leads us to the correct answer the moment we see the house okay see usually short action we know know also short action we had found the perfect place here. We had found indicates us that the C, the verb C and no is in the past. Okay, when the mo the moment when we see Afwan, so the house we knew we change C because it is a regular verb. We change it from C to so, and also know from no to new because they are irregular verbs. We had found, we had found. The moment we saw, we knew, okay, 
we had found. Had found here is past perfect. Past perfect because it happened before the two actions, C and new. Let's move to number two. When Mrs. Swain get home, her husband sleeps. Okay, we have a sentence divided into two clauses. This is the first clause. We called it time clause ends here. And this is the, the main clause. Start from her husband sleep, okay? The time clause has the verb get and the main clause has the verb sleep. We have two actions. Are the actions happening at the same time? Did one interrupt another? Let's see. When Mrs. Swain get home, this is a short action. We put it in the past. So when Swain got home, when he arrived, short action. It doesn't come with progressive. Her husband, something was in progressive. Action was progressive. Her husband was sleeping. So we use here past progressive was sleeping. When Mrs. Swain got home, her husband was sleeping. So past simple, past progressive. Why do we use the past simple here? Because the action was short. Hadith qasir. short, long action was sleeping. He was sleeping when, her, when his wife arrived or got home. Let's move to number three. Professor Jones speak for a whole hour when Alex interrupt him with a question. Professor John, speak for a whole hour. We have also two clauses. This is the main clause ending here and the time clause starting from when. Okay, when something happened. Here we're talking about uh, actions uh, interrupted another action. A small or short action interrupted another action, but we have to put in mind this word for a whole hour for a whole hour. Here we are focusing, we are emphasizing the duration. Rakiz ala muddat al hadath when we use the past perfect progressive. So Professor George had been speaking for a whole hour before something interrupted, which is the verb interrupt, before Alex interrupted, interrupted, here had been speaking. We used the past perfect progressive because we focusing on the on the duration of the action had been uh, duration of the action before something in the past. The past perfect progressive do focus emphasize in the duration of an action that happened before something is the past. What is that something that happened in the past? Interrupt. Interrupt should be in the past simple because here is the time clause when this time clause interrupted uh, the action should be in the past. Interrupted. Let's move to number four. Unfortunately for me, I already signed the paper my boss gave me before I read it, okay? We have two blanks here. We have two verbs, sign and read. The first verb, sign, comes with a time expression already. So this is an indication for a tense. And we have to use the past tenses, past simple, past progressive, past perfect simple, past perfect progressive, okay? Let's understand the sentence first. Unfortunately for me, so something bad happened. What did he do? He signed the paper his boss gave him before he read it. So we hear two actions, one happened before. In the past perfect simple and past perfect progressive, we have to use the timeline, okay? We are here and two actions happened in the past. The, the nearest one, the, f the nearest one should be in past, okay? The, the last one, the one before, should be in past perfect, past perfect. So, we are here, something in the past, we use the past simple. Something before, something completed before something in the past, شيء حدث هنا اكتمل قبل شيئا في الماضي, هنا نستخدم the past perfect progressive. So, what is the first thing happened? Did he sign or he read? Unfortunately for me, I already signed. Also, time expression sign already indicates that we have to use the, uh, the, the tense past perfect. I had already signed the paper. 
has already signed here. He signed here, had already signed. We use the past perfect simple, okay? Before, he signed here before he read it. So we put the verb read in the past tense, which is read, okay? So why did we choose this? I had already signed the paper my boss gave me before I read it. We have two actions, all in the past. We use the past perfect progressive, which is a completed action before something in the past. This thing happened before something, which he read in the past. هذا الماضي الأقرب وهذا الماضي الأبعد. Number five. It be impossible to concentrate because my neighbor shout all afternoon. So here is a person complaining about his neighbor because his neighbor is annoying him. He said it be impossible. The verb to be, uh, it comes in the past, was or where. But it is singular, so we have to use was also because it is a short action. It was impossible to concentrate. كان من المستحيل أن أركز. Why? Because something, a long action was going on. What was it? My neighbor was shouting all afternoon. It was impossible to concentrate. I use was at the past simple because the action is short and completed. Uh, because my neighbor was shouting because the action was in progress uh, during something in the past. Let's move to number six. <clears throat> number six. Larry had been driving for an hour when he realized he forget his wallet at home. Larry had been driving for an hour. Here the verb had been driving. We using which kind of verb? Past perfect progressive. When do we use the past perfect progressive? When we emphasize, when we focus on the duration of an action, okay, but when? Before a specific time, specific point in time in the past, or before action in the past? When? The verb after when should be in the past, which is realized, okay? So here, past perfect progressive, we focus on the duration, how did we know he focused on the duration? Because for an hour. He had been driving for an hour. When? Before something in the past. When he realized, okay, he forget his wallet at home. Here, let's draw a timeline. Okay, we have three action. The first one, he had been driving. The second one, he realized something in the past, okay? Here, he realized, before that, he had been driving. He had been driving. Here we focus, we emphasize in the duration of an action before something in the past. Here he realized, okay, realized, okay. After that, he was, he had been driving. We focus on the time. When he realized something in the past, okay, before that, so we should use the past perfect simple. He had forgotten. He had forgotten. We put had, uh, must had, and the past participle of the verb, forget, forgot, forgotten. Okay. Okay, now let's move to another exercise. The next exercise say, Complete the second sentence so that it has a similar meaning to the first using the word giving. We have two sentences here, okay? The first one is completed, and there is a word given to you to complete the second sentence, okay? You have to change the word, but the meaning should be similar, okay? Do not change the word giving. You must use between two and five words, including the word giving, okay? This is the word giving. You have to put it including in the answer, and the answer should be no, no, no less than two words and no more than five words. Don't change the meaning, okay? You, you can change the word sometimes, but the, word, the meaning should be the same. Let's read number one. The cost of living is a little higher than it was two years ago. The, the, the giving word is slightly here, okay? Slightly means a little. The cost of living slightly 
than it was two years ago. Here, the cost of living, the, the sentence stopped here, so, and starts from here, then, this is the missing part, is a little higher, and slightly means a little, so I should put it as easy as it is. Living is a slightly higher. Living is a slightly higher. The cost of living is slightly higher than it was two years ago. Slightly means a little, so we just change it here. Let's move to number two. I thought the hotel would be more luxurious. When I say I thought something, I expected it, but the fact it is not. So there is a difference. I have to use the word as. The second sentence says the hotel was, I thought it would be. Okay, so I have to use words that to show the difference. As, as we studied, dear students, in the comparison, I use as adjective as to show, to show similarity. But here I have to show difference. I should say not as adjective as. Okay, I have to use as as, but between them the adjective luxurious. So I should start, the hotel was not as luxurious as I thought it would be. Here, I, uh, uh, the hotel was not as luxurious here. As, as, the adjective here, and not to show the difference. I thought, I thought something, but it was not. Let's move to number three. I have never met a more responsible individual. Here the, the, the sentence mean, in his whole life, is using the present perfect simply, he has never met a person that he claimed is irresponsible, okay? The same thing, when I use never, the same thing applies to ever. We are using present perfect simple. He is the most responsible individual I have ever met. I have ever met. Here. The missing here is I, the subject, have met, present perfect simple, and the word ever instead of the word never. Same meaning, but different words. Number four. Linda was not as upset as I had expected. I expected Linda to be upset, but when I met her, when I came to her, I find it she is not the same. To show difference, maybe less than I expected. Linda than, the word given here is than. Linda than I had expected. So she is less upset than. We use a comparative, less uh, upset than. Linda was less upset than I had expected. Comparing between what I expected and what is true. Number five, when we went to their house, the guests had left. We have time clause starting with when, and the verb here is in the past. When we went to their house, okay, when we arrived, this is in the past. The guests had left. They left before. They had left before, so we're using the past perfect Simple, had, and the past participle of the verb because this action completed before another action in the past. The other action in the past, when I went, when I arrived, they had left before, okay? I use the word by. The guest had left, here the verb, had left, when uh, we went, okay? I can say when we went, but I have to use another word. It has the similar meaning for when. Okay, when referring to the time, I say, by the time, by the time we went to their house. Okay, let's move to number six. If you leave earlier, it will be easier to find a parking space. It's, it will be easier to find a parking space, but there is a condition, an if condition. If you leave earlier, if you leave earlier, it will be easier and you will find uh, a parking space. Here, we have to use, we have to put the word that in the second sentence. Let's see what does the second sentence say. The, comma, uh, space, easier it will be to find a parking space. The, the, easier. Okay. 
Here, the, we should put a comparative. Here, the with the comparative. The easier means, the, that means the earlier you leave, the easier it will be. The earlier you leave, the, e the easier it will be. Because that, dear students, what we studied in the comparison, in the comparison lesson, the comparative, the comparative, it's like a conditional. The second one is as a result of what happens first. If the earlier you leave, the easier. Okay, when it will be easier to find the space? If the first one happened, if you leave early. Let's move to number seven. It is becoming increasingly dangerous to walk around town at night. Oh, at night, okay? Increasingly, increasingly mean developing. Increase means is that. Increasingly dangerous to walk. Here, we have to use the, the word and. It is getting and to walk around the town at night. Okay, to walk around. Here is the same. To walk around, okay? It is getting, it's becoming. We have to use dealing with increasingly dangerous. I have to say it's getting more and more dangerous. Also, we have, uh, we have studied that at uh, class, dear students. Uh, more and more dangerous. Adjective means increasing, more and more. Increasingly dangerous, more and more dangerous. More and more dangerous. Let's move to number eight, last but not least. As a child, Stephen usually spent hours playing alone in his room. We are talking about Stephen when he was a child, so we are referring to a past. Usually, so uh, habit in the past, he spent hours, he used to spend hours playing alone in his room. We have to use the verb would. Would, as we know, it's a model verb. We refer would, uh, would to, uh, would verb, it refer to the past uh, action, okay? As a child, Stephen here, okay? Playing here. So this is missing. This is missing here. Usually spent hours, okay? So, Spent, refer to the past, also would refer to, spa, to past, so I should use, as a child, Stephen would spend hours. Would spend hours, as you see, spent becomes in the best form because it comes after the model verb would, would spend hours and hours, uh, it comes uh, as it is here. We use would spend because, uh, referring to the past, uh, with something expected and it, it will happen later. Would spend playing alone in his room. نتوقف هنا أعزائي المشاهدين أبنائي الطلاب والطالبات لننتقل معكم لفاصل قصير ثم نعود مرة أخرى لنستكمل هذه الحلقة. مرحبا بكم أعزائي المشاهدين أبناء الطلاب والطالبات مرة أخرى في الجزء الأخير من هذه الحلقة لمادة اللغة الإنجليزية للصف الثالث ثانوي لبرنامج 100 على 100 نستقبل أسئلتكم واستفساراتكم ونجيب عليها في هذا الجزء من الحلقة عن طريق هاشتاج البرنامج 100 على 100 إلى أولى الأسئلة وأنا أطلع على الأسئلة في أو التعليقات في الخص الموجوع أمامي فيها تعليق من أحد المتابعين أحد المتابعين على الجزئية السؤال Did you hear about the house that was last night الإجابة كانت burgled الإجابة كانت burgled لكن لماذا اخترنا burgled لماذا اخترنا برجل؟ اوكي. كان عندنا بعضهم يقول برجل، بعضهم ستولن، بعضهم كيدناب. When you, when you read the sentence لما تقرا الجملة you have to understand it. إذا فهمت الجملة وعرفت المعنى منها والمقصد منها ستعرف الخيارات. عندنا شوب ليفت برجلد 
and kidnapped. Did you hear about the house that was last night? We are talking about, okay, usually uh, the, the crime of stealing, when we're talking about a house, we use the word burgled. burgled burglary means a crime of stealing or a crime of getting into a house to steal something, usually with violence, okay? That uh, was for the comment. في جزئية أخرى في الفقرة نمبر 7 I was extremely upset when the man me of theft بعض الإجابة الإجابة الصحيحة accused بعضهم قال uh, charge بعضهم قال blame لا في فرق بين الكلمات في accuse و charge و blame لازم نفهم الجملة I was extremely upset when the man me of theft معناتها هنا الإجابة اتهام شخص ما اتهمني بالسرقة Why did we choose accuse? We use, we use accuse when you say that you believe something is guilty, okay, or someone is guilty. Uh, the verb blame, كلمة blame, would you say something is responsible for something bad? لما تقول والله تلوم تلوم على شخص يعني هو مسؤول عن شيء. فالإجابة هنا يقولك theft. Theft هو اتهام guilty بالسرقة. Charge. الإجابة ليست charge because charge usually اتهام from an official. Uh, organization like a police the difference between accuse and charge accuse the accusation comes from uh, people charge the, uh, the accusation comes from uh, police or etc in the sentence he said the man accused me of the left هنا عندنا كلمة the man فبعشان كلمة the man اخترنا الإجابة accused لكن لما تقول police we use the verb charge charge تأتي معنى اتهام رسمي من قبل الشرطة اكيوز uh, واتهام شخص إلى شخص بليم يلوم responsible for something and uh, I, I wrote some questions uh, from the comments someone of asked him what is uh, when do we use the past perfect simple we talk about the past tenses uh, a lot of past tenses but he asked about past Perfect simple. When do we use the past perfect simple? Okay. We use past perfect simple for action that was completed. Okay. Action was completed before a specific point in the past or before another action in the past. Two action in the past preceded uh, each other. Okay. For example, uh, let me tell you that the form. Had plus the past participle had the تصريف ثالث من الفعل for example they had left before I arrived here we have two verbs the first one had left which is past perfect simple the second verb is arrived which is past simple okay which one happened before other, the other okay which is which one is the completed action that was uh, before, uh, before a specific time in the point. The, the verb had left. When I say they had left before arrived, غادروا قبل أن آتي. Had left is the completed action. Okay, الحدث اللي اكتمل اللي هو غادروا. Before I arrived. اكتمل الحدث قبل نقطة محددة في الماضي اللي هو نقطة الوصول. أنا وصلت في الماضي لكن قبل ذلك they had left. غادروا قبل أن آتي. Uh, the differences for the first point, يعني نرجع النقطة اللي هي crime of stealing, crime of stealing, burglary, the crime of stealing, uh, usually uh, when you get into uh, houses, you get into house or building uh, to steal things, okay? Yeah, burglary غالبا تأتي مع uh, المنازل, سرقة المنازل. في نفس النقطة اللي تتكلموا فيها المعلقين في التعليقات burglary because it is a house. Okay? But when we talk about a bank, for example, uh, we are talking about a different, uh, different type of stealing, a crime stealing, which is a robbery. The crime, the robbery is a crime of stealing money from banks. Usually we use violence. Robbery in the سرقة من البنوك سرقة الأموال البنوك with with uh, violence. Okay, this is uh, the difference. Shoplifting when you steal from shops. Shoplifting is a crime of stealing when you steal from shops. Usually when you don't pay at the cashier or when you when when you had when you hide uh, the stuff or the the things that you steal uh, uh, behind or under your clothes. And the last one, kidnapping. Kidnapping when you take somebody away illegally. Take somebody away illegally. Uh, 
في بعض اللغة أعتقد أننا شرحنا باللغة العربية الكافية explain in Arabic maybe some of the students who are watching you don't understand this is in English we try as, as uh, we do our best to explain in Arabic as, uh, as we could uh, I think we have no more question أعتقد أننا وصلنا إلى الأكثر بهذا القدر أعزائي المشاهدين أبنائي الطلاب والطالبات نكون قد وصلنا إلى نهاية هذه الحلقة ونتمنى أن نكون قد وفقنا في الطرح نشكر لكم طيب المتابعة وحسن الاستماع والسلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته